So pretty much what this is saying is just they're going to bind to the phosphate and then you're going to poop it out, pretty much. So I would definitely know these two. Uh, yeah. So like, if it binds to phosphate, it affects the calcium metal. So yeah. Like, how mm -hmm. can you like explain like the chemical use? So okay, so our relationship is if the calcium is high, we know our phosphate is low. Or if our calcium is low, our phosphate is high. Wait, so phosphate is low than calcium. Is high? Yeah, they're inverse. It's always like that. One is always the opposite of the other. Why are they like that? Just because. Just because it's just one of those things. I looked it up. I can explain the other relationships. I can explain them. Okay, very good. They just are. Um, I do know that you get where how how do I regulate my calcium levels like in my body? You guys know what? Your parathyroid. Parathyroid? Where are my parathyroids located? Okay, thyroid. Yeah, so I've got my thyroid. It kind of... Wow. <laughs> They've got a goiter or something going on. Okay, so I've got four parathyroid glands, you know, on the back of my thyroid. And when they increase, so when they increase their secretion of parathyroid hormone, or you'll see it on her exam as PTH, parathyroid hormone, then they're going to increase my calcium levels like in my body. And how do they do that? How does parathyroid hormone work on the body to increase calcium? Does anyone know? It's like bio 265. Huh? <laughs> um, it works different ways. Like it'll tell the kidneys um, to stop excreting calcium. And it also causes like bone breakdown so it'll actually cause like an increase in osteoclast activity and increase my calcium in the blood, right? So there's more PTH and there's more calcium in the blood? Yeah, so more PTH, more calcium in the blood. Well, for some reason, when PTH is released and it increases calcium, it decreases phosphate. So PTH is linked <coughs> to both of these. It does both. And so, I don't know, I don't know why, it just does. So they're opposite. They end up being opposite of each other. So do the kidneys just like reabsorb more calcium? Yeah, they'll just tell it. They pretty much just stop excreting it. Bones break down. And they increase your calcium level. And then, um, but that's important. So, for instance, if I have a patient that has low calcium, okay? Maybe she'll have a question that just tells you this. One of the treatments that you could get, do would be to give a phosphate binding antacid. Because you know that if you dis decrease the phosphate, the calcium will go up. So remembering those relationships is super important because she might be testing you about this, and the answer is something to do with this. Mm -hmm. You know? So Treating the, bind to the phosphate. So yeah, so these up. two bind to phosphate and <coughs> cause your body to, you know, poop, excrete it. So calcium, then your calcium would go up. so calcium would go up phosphate. Because my phosphate, so if I'm getting rid of this, I'm excreting it, my phosphate is going to go down. And we know that if my phosphate is going down, my calcium is going up. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, on this paper, these relationships are like super important. Because mm -hmm. she might test you about one of the aspects, and the answer would be about the phosphate. So I would remember that. Does anyone know? Um, the opposite of PTH, what causes calcium to go down in the body? It's from the thyroid. It's calcitonin, mm -hmm. so for me, that's an important medication for you guys to know too. Because there's like a synthetic form of it. Did everyone bring their drug books? Yeah. Get them out. <laughs> that medications are super important for this test. What's it called? Um, it's either called calcitriol or calcitonin. I calcitonin is the hormone. Calcitonin is the hormone, right? And then yeah, calcitriol yeah. would be like the synthetic. Let me double check. Okay, calcitriol, what it does is okay calcitriol 
it increases calcium. So then what does calcitonin do? 253. I bet it's the opposite. So don't get those mixed up like I did. Okay, calcitonin lowers calcium. So that's the one I want you to know. Calcitonin is on page 253. And that's a medication that you can give to lower. And then I would know about calcitriol. Calcitonin lowers the calcium? Yeah. And that's so that's just the hormone. So it's like, it's a drug. Yeah, it's, it's a drug and a hormone. So it's our thyroid. <laughs> our thyroid usually makes calcitonin naturally. So it can help regulate calcium levels with, along with parathyroid hormone, but it's also a drug you can give to. Synthetic, it's like a synthetic form. Mm -hmm. Page 253. So, but then I would also, because I know on your PowerPoint slide, calcitriol is on there as well. 1290. Yeah, 1290. And it raises calcium. So please know the difference between those two because it's on your PowerPoint slide.